Hello, my people. This is our van, and I've been looking for a place for us to stay tonight on an app called Park for Night, and I came across this one a five star campsite. The person is busy saying this is without exaggerating one of the best places in Albania. Located in one of the five star resorts in Albania. Hmm. So it got me wondering, what is a five star campsite like? Usually we're staying in places that have this. Yep, that is poop. This, this is what's behind us. Kind of looks like a storage site. We even have horses. Hello boy. We keep attracting these. Yeah, all the wild animals. <laughs> oh, yeah, as a friend. Oh, here comes more friends. Oh. I don't know if we're going to have this in a five star campsite. <laughs> this is wild camping, literally. What do you think a five star campsite is going to have? I think it needs to have pristine amenities. Maybe a super tube by the pool. Uh, a butler that brings me champagne on the beach, my own personal masseuse, and uh, do you think they offer housekeeping? Because Big Red could really do with the clean. Well, there's only one way to find out. Move, horses. Bye, campsite friends. Beep, 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 beep. Thank you. Thank you sir, thank you. So right now we are on our way to a town called Sarande in the south of Albania where this five star campsite is. But I'm curious to see what type of experience I'm going to get at this five star campsite. I think I see it. That looks nice. Oh wow, the drive-in looks so pretty already. It's a massive driveway lined with all of these trees. Feels like a, a decent enough entrance. Ooh. Based on how the hotel looks like, I think we're in for a spoil tonight. Do you think they have those butler services where they're going to take our van and park? Oh, the valet? Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna try it? Hey, someone coming? I'm nervous. <laughs> Hello. Yo. Um, how do I get to the campsite? Yes. Uh, Must to the camp. Yes. Yes. You can go to the downstairs. Can I go down that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I drive or you drive it there? No, you. Oh, me drive. You, yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Deductor star. <laughs> They're not taking my van there. No valet included. <laughs> I hope this is the right way. This is where we have parked. There are pictures with other great views, but somebody's taken it. We have just checked into our five-star campsite. And it cost us 25 euros a night. But if you want electricity... Three euros a night. But while walking around, we did find this. And this is a swimming pool. They don't have a super tube. But if you want to use it... 15 euros per person. Are all five star resorts like this? Is everything separately priced? I don't know. For me, I thought five star was all inclusive. Well, so far this is starting to become a very expensive five star. <laughs> However, we do have the bathrooms for free. Do you want to show them the bathrooms? Yeah, let me show you. And here we have the bathrooms. It looks like we have the toilets on the side with the basins. A huge mirror, which is a luxury compared to being in the van because Daniel broke mine. Uh, whoops. And then this is the shower. Um, oh, but the door doesn't lock. I wouldn't say it's five star quality, but compared to what we've got in the van, it'll do. Another thing that's included is the ocean. What is she doing? 
Baby, what are you doing? I'm looking for our butler. A butler? Yeah, this is a five-star resort, isn't it? Yes. And housekeeping, have you seen them? No. So I'm looking for them. I don't think you're going to find them in a campsite. It's a five-star campsite. Are you sure these chairs are included? Yep. This is what I'm talking about. If you look at this five-star campsite from above, you can see that we completely parked on a pier. I mean, we've never stayed at a place like this and it's definitely going to come with a price. And the fact that we have a beach right next to the car is pretty awesome. Hey, they have fitness facilities. Oh, three. Oh, five. My sunbed's a little bit broken, but at least it helps with the abs. And also what is included is a beach. So down there is the beach and then along the pier they have these little concrete things which I've never seen before. And with them are these little pool thingies. So you kind of enter the sea like a pool. We'll give them a star for that. So the restaurant here is closed. But we have found a place that is further up the road, about a 10 minutes walk, that serves traditional Albanian food. And we haven't tried that yet here in Albania, so we thought to match the night. We did have slight different thoughts of what a five-star campsite is going to be like. I don't know if it's a little bit different here in Albania, or if this is just a self-proclaimed five-star campsite. Well, that surely do be beautiful. But now I'm more beautiful than you. No. You, you're looking good for dinner tonight, baby. Thank you. I'm just wearing our merch. Which looks good on you too. Thanks, baby. It says explore more. Have you guys gotten yourself some yet? If you have not, then what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get yourself some buddy moon merch. So the restaurant is inside the town here in Sarande and because we're so used to van lifing and spending most of our times outside of the city it kind of feels weird again to be inside the city. It feels like this is how we used to travel last year and was always inside the city. I feel like it's a little treat, like it's a date night for us because now it's something out of the ordinary. Is that why you got dressed up? That's why I got dressed up. Makes sense makes sense and there's our restaurant taste of the south he actually chose quite a pretty little spot for dinner thanks google thank you that looks delicious thank you so much it almost looks like a dessert <laughs> So I have ordered Albania's national dish which is called a tav korsi. So tav means casserole and korsi is yogurt. So basically it is a lamb casserole with a little bit of yogurt and it's got some egg in as well. Oh, smells amazing. What I've ordered is a moussaka. It's basically eggplant, potato and mince. It almost looks like a lasagna and actually originates from Turkey or Greece. I'm pretty excited for it. Albania is influenced by a lot of cuisines because Italy is literally across the sea. Greece is right next door and then they were also ruled by the Ottoman Empire. So there is a lot of Turkish cuisine in there as well. Ooh. Is that a bit hot? A little bit hot, but that is so good. There's so much flavor to that meat, and you can taste the tanginess of the yogurt inside this dish. It's so good. That looks delicious. That looks so good. Mm. It almost tastes... It's a loud bus. <laughs> it almost tastes like a potato bake with lamb or minced meat inside and it's got a very creamy texture so it's like super super good i think i can eat this like every day surely this is not only us we share pretty much every meal so that we can get a taste of two things it's a win-win situation right that was delicious how delicious so delicious
One thing I can say about this campsite is that I'd give them five stars just for this bed. They have a pretty good bed. A Flexima mattress. Good night. See you in the morning. Good morning, pineapple. Looking very good, very nice. You and I are not on the same page this morning. You know what I woke up thinking this morning? It's that we actually live in a car. Like our house is a car. And sometimes that just blows my mind. We thought of van life a lot during our travels in Southeast Asia. And to think that we are living in a van like it sometimes doesn't feel real and you get these moments where you're just like we're living in a van it's like sometimes not really believable but it's yeah. a, our own home our own bed our own everything and that's what i love about it. yeah we don't have much in life other than traveling <laughs> so to be having this which is like our little baby is i don't know it's just it's just mind-blowing sometimes random thought And Daniel has gotten fixated and made a mess of our sink. The water here in Albania has been super hard. So our sink looks like it hasn't been washed in a million years and has formed like a whole bunch of caulk on the sides. So I've put a mixture of vinegar, baking soda and lemon juice. And I put it on top in order to let it set and the internet says that's going to make it soft. And now I'm just trying to scrub it all off with our kitchen cloth and hopefully it removes all the hard white caulk. I could complain about the messy sink but at least I have a husband who gets things done, right? This better work. And now for the true test is to see if everything's off and we'll only know that once the kitchen sink dries. And look at that, you can see there I don't know if you can see it on the camera but over there we still have some marks there we go but over here this is all clean which means the internet was right with the vinegar baking soda and lemon juice oh wow that's made a world of a difference well done Vicky. yes handyman dan or clever man dan smart man dan smart man dan <laughs> Now that our time at the five star campsite is coming to an end, we want to head to an area down there called Kosamal and park there and check out that town. But looks like we have rain down there and feeling the wind. You see the rain's down there. Did you see that? The wind's going that way, so it means we're going to catch those clouds. Oh boy. That's where they told us we can dump our grey water. Not so five star, right? Before we leave, we need water. That's one way of doing it, hey? <laughs> I could have switched the tap on for you. <laughs> and now for our jug okay baby you can put it back on okay it's on i really do hope that the water here is not as culky as the water we had before okay put it off let's go go big red go big red you can do it you can do it go big red that was a steep hill there we go, Big Red. Well done. Well done. So despite the weather, we're going to drive down to the next town called Kasamal, which is only about a 10 minute drive. But with regards to that five star resort, I would give it maybe two stars for its facilities, but I'd give it a five star in terms of location of where we slept and that beach. Mm. 
So we've gotten a spot right here on the coastline. We are a little bit in the corner because there is this car and all the other parkings have been taken. But once this guy moves, then we'll move back a little bit. And we're gonna have the most amazing view. We're always looking for spots right on the ocean so we can take a dip in the morning like we did earlier today. But the town is on the other side of the mountain which we're gonna go check out. So the guy over here has moved. So Danny is just gonna back up a little bit. Good. Perfect. So Kasamal, the town that we are in now, is close to the Greek border which means that it shares the same blue waters as Greece but at a fraction of the price. So generally this area is packed with tourists but I think because we've come in the off season we're kind of getting this whole place to ourselves. So we've taken a walk straight to the beach in order to check the beaches out over here. I don't know if they are private beaches. Um, I think they're private beaches. I think so. Yeah. Belong to the hotels probably. Yeah, well we'll figure that out when they chase us away. <laughs> <laughs> you can see there's not a lot of people at all. Usually all these places are full. At least this hotel hasn't packed up all their chairs like everywhere else we've seen in Albania. Generally when coming to places like this they're always super packed and loud but over here it's like quiet and you barely hear anything other than jet skis in the background and a little music coming from some of the restaurants but otherwise very quiet. But before we take a swim on the beach we want to find Albanian sweets and then we can relax straight after that. We're busy walking through the promenade in order to look for a place that is going to sell some Albanian sweets. And right next to us is a whole bunch of souvenir stores. Some are open, some are not open. So I think coming here in the off season is somewhat great because there is nobody here. But at the same time, you kind of lose the atmosphere, which I think what Kasamal is famous for. Hi, do you have Albanian sweets? Like we're looking for like Revani, Kadaf. You have over there? Can we have one of them? Oh, well, there's so many desserts here. I feel like I should try more than one. So we found a place that actually has some Albanian sweets and one of them is a Ravani. So we're going to try that one. And then the rest are kind of just like other pastries and cakes. But because those are normal and not Albanian, we're just going to try the Ravani. Do you have other Albanian delicacies here? Over here we call that one Shandetli. Uh, yeah, we can try one of yeah. those. This is very good to eat with ice cream. Vanilla with ice cream, ice cream yeah. as well? Do you have ice cream? Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Enjoy. I found it. Here it is. Shandat Lee. Oh, yummy. Yes, that's exactly what we're having. It's undeniably one of the greatest Albanian desserts. How did we not figure that one out first? So apparently the word shandat means health and it's supposed to be more of a healthy cake but it's like a biscuit type cake so when it comes out of the oven it's quite hard but then they soak it in honey it makes the cake very moist and giving it like a syrupy shortbread type of taste. I'm really keen to try it. Mm. Wow. I get a hint of ginger mm. but I can taste the honey and the ice cream is really cold but it's so moist and so flavorful and very 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 sweet you can definitely taste the syrup i'm salivating that was so good <laughs> mm. how good is that hey you can't eat all my cake is it ginger that tastes it like tastes that? It tastes like ginger. Oh my gosh. I think Leanne's explained it all. This is delicious. Okay, sorry guys, I have to Google this because I don't know what it is. Um, what's this one again? The Ravani. Okay. You got so, it. Yes, yes. So Ravani, Ravani is a light and fluffy orange cake soaked in orange syrup. Ooh. So it's truly an orange delight. This is going to be orange good. <laughs> That's orange. Is it good? It's nowhere near as sweet as the other one. So this one's a lot lighter and more easier to palate and have the whole one to yourself. But it really, really is nice. It doesn't have a strong sweet taste. I like that. But I think out of the two, the one that I got with the ice cream is my favorite. Okay, well now we have a lot of food to finish. It suits me fun.
inside. Because we stopped at such a beautiful spot, we decided that we're gonna spend one extra day here just to enjoy it. Oh wow, this water is amazing. How nice is it to wake up to this? A little chilly at first, but I know once we end it will be good. Ooh. Oh, absolutely love morning swims. I'm starting to become addicted to them, I think. <laughs> this is great. Should we move here? <laughs> So yesterday we went into town and I saw they were selling some goggles and snorkels so I bought myself one and I'm gonna go now ow, and take a snorkel and see what fish I can find. So while Leanne is looking for some fish I want to sort out our solar. At the moment if I click on our app, I'm only getting 91 watts. We have a 200 watt solar system and yeah, the sun is completely out. So I'm going to clean it and see if I get more watts. Not too many fish. <laughs> it looks like the coral is dead here, but the water is so clear, which is awesome. I wonder how dirty the solar is. So this is what it looks like. It's actually not bad at all. <laughs> there we go. All nice and clean. Okay. Let's see what we're getting now. 92 watts. Okay, well that didn't make any difference. So I guess just the sun is not strong enough or the solar panels are not facing at a 90 degree angle. But yeah, at least the solar panels are clean. Hey baby. Hey Suyi. How was your swim? It was amazing. There weren't too many fishes, but I am starving now. Leanne has made tuna, mayo. And onion. And onion toasties. Nice pretty good mm. so this is where we're going to end the video for today we're just gonna sit and relax in this spot maybe take another swim but then tomorrow which will be in our next episode we're gonna head more inland and then head up more north so if you guys like this video please give it a like don't forget to subscribe and also leave a super thanks if you can otherwise we'll see you guys in the next video bye 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 <laughs>